What's happening out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with the easiest gift cards to friends glitch ever. I'm, I'm telling you, you can you can dupe a car every minute for your friend, all right? Uh, so founders of this glitch are World's Finest Gamer, Super 420, Glitch TV, uh, Tudor Fossil France, and Rama Moore posted this brand new method to do this quick as hell. All right, so what you need, you need one friend obviously, he needs to be giving you a car, uh, you want if you're using this as a money glitch have custom plates on it And then you want custom plates after for you to actually change it to your own personal plate so you can be able to sell it Now you do need a facility and you want it to be full I recommend filling it up with RH8s because you need to overwrite vehicles in there Okay, so this is the perspective of the giver. All right I'm actually giving my friend a car on this one this retro right here with my custom plate on it I'm giving it to my friend what my friend is gonna do we both have the same facility makes it nice and quick and easy what my friend's doing now is running over to his oppressor. You can call up any bike, but the oppressor, you know, we've just been using that one. This doesn't get overridden. You just need to get the facility full alert. So he drove up to his facility. He has the facility full alert. He let me know. All I'm going to do now is open up my interaction menu so I don't get sucked into the facility and just push him over. All right. So as you can see right here, I'm just knocking him over and you want to just push them away from the yellow circle. All right. Once they're a good distance away from the yellow circle, you let them know. All they have to do is accept that facility fuller, open up their interaction menu, and take the easy way out. If done correctly, the oppressor will just disappear like that, and then they'll end up spawning somewhere else. That's literally how you get glitched out now, guys. No timing whatsoever. You can stay in the same session and just keep duping over and over again with your friend. So I just went ahead and, you know, go and pick up your friend just to make it nice and quick. So I went over there, I picked him up, and I'm going to drive close to the uh, to our facilities right here. I'm going to get out because I'm giving him this car. So all he's going to do now is go ahead and just drive his brand new car, which is mine, over into the facility. He's going to get the facility full alert, and then he's just going to have to overwrite one of those RH8s that's in his facility, and that's it. The car is his. Now, when he drives out the car, it will be bricked, but that's okay. If you don't plan on driving that car anymore, you can just go and grab an oppressor and you can get another car. Just back to back to back. That's how you can do this, all right? So now we're in the perspective of the person receiving the car, all right? So I'm receiving a car now, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and call up my oppressor. Remember, my facility, both our facilities are here and they're both full, all right? Now, the, the car I just gave him... He's actually going to give me that car back. He's already put his own custom plate on it. See that? That's not my custom plate. That's his. So I'm just going to be getting that same car back from him. All right. He's going to be duping that car. So I went ahead. I called up my oppressor. I'm going to drive up to the you know facility and I'm going to get the facility full alert. All right. So I have the facility full alert. I'm, I'm telling my friend, go ahead. I'm on the I'm on the alert. Just push me over. All right. Just push me away from the yellow circle. You can basically hear it you know, behind this and stuff like that. You can hear when you're getting pushed. But right when your friend tells you you're far enough away from the yellow circle, accept that alert and then just kill yourself. That's all you got to do. And like I said, your oppressor or your bike, whatever you're using, will just disappear, which is okay. Now I'm just going to wait right here for my friend. And uh, you don't get any screwed up mini map or anything like that. You can still see everything, but just to bypass running up the hill and all that, just have your friend come pick you up nice and easy. All right, so my friend came and picked me up, and I'm just going to hop in, and we're going to drive up to our facilities. Having the same facility is the best, guys. You can do this so quickly. You don't have to keep jumping across the map back and forth. So... He's going to go ahead and just drop me off here. He's going to get out of his car. Because remember, I gave the, I gave this to him before. But now I want another dupe. So I'm going to have him give it back to me. Now, check it out. His car, I can actually drive it into my facility. I get the full alert. And then just simply go in here and wait for this long animation that we've all seen a bunch of times already. And uh, get used to it. We're going to be seeing more of it. Guys, if you don't have a facility, this is the future of glitching in GTA. The facility is full of glitches. We will be finding a lot in the future, all right? Just letting you know. The MOC is still great, but the facility is the future of glitching, I'm telling you. All right? So be prepared for a lot to come from this facility. A lot more, I should say. So once we finish, you know, getting down the elevator over here, it's going to ask us to replace over a vehicle and we're going to be going ahead and replacing over an RH8. So like I said, RH8s or Fagios in there. And just like that, I have my brand new car, but I can keep, you know, get receiving cars or whatever if I really want to. But remember, if you're using this as a money glitch, I do recommend that you change the plate. And obviously, if you try to drive out, the car is bricked. So to be able to drive this again, all you got to do is close app. All right. Close app and then restart app and then you will be able to actually drive it and go and change the plate. Now there's a few reasons 
why you actually want to do this, okay? So just when you load back in, go into a new session, you can invite your friend, you guys can keep duping. Super easy, no timing. So I'm gonna grab that car and then I'll be able to drive it. So here's the reasons why you want to change those plates. Guys, when you get a plate, like you see that pills plate? I don't have that in my iFruit, that's not my custom plate. If I were to get two of those cars, I can drive one into Los Santos Customs and change the first plate on it and be fine. The second one I drive in, it will automatically be dirty, okay? Once the game detects that you have multiple plates from an iFruit account that's not yours, or you know, just iFruit plates that aren't in your iFruit account, that car is dirty. If you sell enough of those, you will hit a daily sell limit, okay? So check it out. If you have a Yankton like I do, don't change the color of the plate, just change the plate text itself, put your own plate on it, and there you go, I have a clean car. So guys, be safe when you're doing this glitch, because this is a money glitch also, it's that good. But use it for modded cars, use it for, you know, retros, remember Benny's vehicles are the ones that actually sell. If you're getting a uh, can't sell vehicle over $50,000, um, you know, little message, that's because you're not duping Benny's vehicles, guys. You gotta do Benny's vehicles to be able to actually sell these cars, and they must have your own custom plate. All right, and that means change the plate, drive out of Los Santos Customs, wait for it to save, and then drive back in. Then you can sell the car. That's how you want to do this, all right, guys? So that's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. If you did, make sure to slap that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, and turn on post notifications for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We're on the road to 15,000 subscribers. We're like 1,500 away, probably less than that. Let's keep it going, guys. Let's get it. Peace out, everybody.